Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. All right, when we left off, we had uh, had several twists and turns, um, <laughs> and uh, summarizing it would take too long. So uh, we're going to go with the most recent development, which is Noctis was trapped in the crystal for a significant amount of time he's come out with a beard since uh it's impossible to tell how much time has passed but the entire kingdom is enshrouded in darkness right now and uh so we're just trying to make our way to uh, the others as quickly as possible but it's a long way and we have to do it on foot because there is nothing else. Ready for this? Oh. Oh, wow. That is significantly stronger than I thought it would be. Ooh, boy. It's probably better if I just get out of here altogether because it can't really chase me all that much because it's stuck in the wall you see <laughs> okay so didn't really get much out of that but it's fine if I decided to fight it would take too long anyway what are those things Necromancers, oh boy. And they are significantly stronger than I thought they would be. Okay. Alright, well, um, so much for that plan. <laughs> I thought I could just blow them out of the water with my ring because the ring was doing very well against the enemies earlier but no this is a whole new class of shenanigans that I have thrust myself into I had to drink my coffee sorry about that alright uh, of course weak to the sword that I have equipped but the element on the sword, they are not. Okay. Well then. So I'll just do this. Alright. Okay. Okay. This is not cool. Um. Uh, um. Okay, hey. I didn't expect this. There's Phoenix down. Okay. Cool. Alright. Oh, oh. Oh, dear. Uh huh. Okay, I should get out of here. These ones are significantly stronger than I anticipated, and I am not prepared. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Hoo. Okay, my headset's acting up. Give me a second to fix that problem. Okay, so that should fix it. Moved a little bit closer to the... Uh, Xbox that should allow the connection to act a little better. Jeez Louise, did not think that would go the way it did. Holy shit. Is there any way I can get over there? There's no way at all. I have to walk the entire way. 
Oh my god. At least what I'm going the right direction. Something's coming. Is that a truck? Uh I am uh, filthy. It's me, uh, Talkit. <gasps> my grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talkit? It's been yeah a lot of years. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. He sounds like Prompto. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay, uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Holy fuck, Talkit! Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten yeah, look. years. <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. Uh. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives them a call. Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. Okay. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. So, Sid, he's still alive and kicking. <laughs> he's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. All right. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there too, but old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big fat chocobo turd of an idea. <laughs> said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That's Sounds fair. like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy yeah. said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. Fair enough. All the demons prowling around, more folk are getting hurt. Or worse. So we yeah. talk the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and really? the They lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. Yeah, he's like that before, he too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? So they didn't really know what to think, so they just did what they could. We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Ten years. Noctis, you are filthy and need a shower. Whoa! Hey. Hey? 
that's all you have to say for yourself after all this time? <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really you! I hadn't realized. Well, well. <laughs> you kept us waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. <laughs> He's got a bath kit, because Jesus Christ, Noctis, you are a filthy boy. Alright. Reunited with the others. Fuck yeah. The final... Final? Final battle will commence once you leave Hammerhead. Be sure to spare no preparation. You're right, I should absolutely get more stuff. Whoa. Yeah, they weren't kidding. This is definitely a base of operations for monster hunting. Or demon slaying. Geophysical survey of atmospheric conditions. The presence of soot-like photophilic particles. I think I pronounced that right. Yay! <laughs> that was the first time I've ran into that fucking word. Was a confirmed in samples of air taken at varying elevations with notably higher concentrations at higher at altitudes and blupter. Photophilic particles have begun to subsume the ozone layer. Ugh. And the observed reduction of daylight on EOS can be attributed primarily to their light absorbing properties. So that's why the darkness is happening. It's... Hmm. All right. Come to an end. Right. And until the dawn breaks, I'll remain at your side. Oh, hey. right. Let's see what you got, bud. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's look at the sword I currently have. It's, it's, it's still stronger than the engine blade, that's for sure. A one-handed sword infused with holy light. It is deadly when used against demons who fear all that is sacred. I would hope so. Hmm. That is also a lot of gill. A lot of gill I have. So. That's for moi. Hyperion. Oh. That is significantly stronger. A great sword forged for battling many foes at once. The blade inflicts greater damage when surrounded by enemies. And he's already wielding that right now. Oh, that's cool. Good on you, Gladdy. Picking the best sword available. All right. And it provides a lot more uh, vitality. And noticing too. That's good. There we go. Radiant Lance. Pole arm infused with holy light. I should probably get two of these. Oh yeah, I should definitely get two of these. Alright. Main gauches. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. Well-balanced and lively daggers that inflict extra harm on vulnerable foes. Oh, he's already got that equipped. Cool. Quicksilver! A gun made for tracking moving targets. Allows the wielder to destroy appendages with greater ease. It is slightly stronger than the flame gun I got. It's probably a good idea. At least for moi. The Black Prince. A shield that boosts darkness resistance, especially when raised. Taking darkness damage boosts the bearer's magic. I noticed Gladio isn't wielding that, so we'll give that to him as a secondary. Alrighty. Huh. I already have a number of these and I didn't realize. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. Yeah. Let's 
get these equipped now, shall we? Whoops, that was the wrong button. Thank you. Man, look at the crew back together. Now they truly look like a fucking... <laughs> well, I mean, maybe not a boy band, but... Fucking... <laughs> uh, Noctis and the Funky Bunch back together again. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I busted that name out. All right. Okay, so, let's, uh... Hmm. Wow, we are even outclassing the Ragnarok at this point. Holy shit. Um, let's put that there. Put... This there. There we go. I love how the Masamune has been fucking superly outclassed since, like, the middle of the game. <laughs> like, fuck, man. Alright, uh, Delta Daggers. Didn't I? No, I didn't, because he already had them. Okay. Well, it's not like I need them now. So. Secondary. Black Prince. Why did I buy two? I'm stupid. <laughs> Screw it. I don't care. I do not care. There we go. And you already have Quicksilver, so I was just equipping me with it. Cool. Is there any clothes that I can change to? Trendy outfit. Yeah, there we go. But with the jacket. Shit, man. That actually looks decent. Annoying that the fatigues have a higher HP. Alright, uh. Festive Ensemble. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to pop that back on. It's been a long time. <sighs> we hadn't worn this all game. We had not worn this all game. Huh. It only just struck me now that we had not worn that all game. Ah, oh, well. That's fine, I guess. Alright. So, Ascension. Ah. Yeah. I don't really know what else I can do with Ascension right now. Hmm. A fancy first aid kit. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything I uh, particularly want. Yeah, there's just nothing really. I mean, I can add to that. Although I probably should have grabbed that. Because <laughs> XP doesn't mean anything now. Alright. Let's buy some extra stuff through here. Welcome. Hey there. Um, just top ourselves off on supplies we need, I guess. Alright. Wow, I need a lot more elixirs than I thought I would. Okay, and two remedies, and that's it. Come again. Topped off as far as I'm going to be able to go. Oops, sorry guys. Kind of all got in the way. Alrighty. I wonder why they're not open. Eh. Oh boy. I was yawning a little bit. I woke up a little earlier than I intended. 
Which technically isn't my fault. I went to bed earlier than I intended. Uh, okay. I was hoping to see Sydney, but... Yes, I'm still riding that train. I'm so pumped for this test drive. Right. We're gonna ace it. Well, there's no doubt in my mind the car will pass the test. But I don't know if I can say the same for the driver. Hey. His past experiences are any indication he's failed before he's even begun. Stop Gee, it. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> uh, can I get some sleep, at least? Okay, I can. Okay. You and I need to come up with a plan. If it please, your highness. It does. Because, shit. Alright. Alright. Maybe Noctis will be clean after this. Alright. So yeah, no wedding just yet. <laughs> no wedding ever? Go figure. Hey, don't hate me. Hate the game, yeah, yeah. So we can't expect a formal introduction for some while then. Yeah, at least not till all of this is over. <laughs> can't in good conscience leave a girl to worry while I rush headlong into danger. Right. Gee, you want to teach a master class in romance. Or acting. <laughs> no acting here. I keep it real with the ladies. Oh, I'm sorry, you're what? You're getting married to... They don't mention who. They don't mention who. It's just him being a faux tough guy. And the rest of them just shitting on him. Deservedly. <laughs> so who is he marrying? What? I need to know! <laughs> Alright, well. What is this about? Old book. Is that the book Sid was always reading? Maybe. At this point, I'm just exploring around. Head for the Crown City. Well, I guess we can get going to doing that then. Hey, Talk. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Uh, tell me about the Imperial Army. What happened with them? We've even got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. Arnea. Arnea. So you do know her? Well, I'm not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. But now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Hey! Each of them leads their own they're small still army. They're still <laughs> kicking! Great. I'm more than happy to tell great. you everything I know. So what happened with the Empire then? Since they unleashed this catastrophe, did they just dissolve as a, you know, thing or what? Oh, right. Uh, about the Empire. Uh-huh. Uh, Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. With those yeah. two gone, Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. Yeah. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Anything about Arda? Anything Chancellor's at all? Chancellor's still around, though. In insomnia. Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. But their stories piqued Ignis's curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. Yep. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But we did discover something pretty weird. Uh -huh. While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Apparently he was hailed as a savior, healing all those who were ravaged by demons, only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. Huh. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. So... 
he wasn't lying. And it wasn't some... Like, manipulated untruth, either. He was helping people afflicted by demons just to be accused of being one. So he just reveled in it? Because at that point he had no choice? I, uh... I don't know what to think about that. Something else. Let's talk about the demons. On the bright side, we've come a little closer to understanding the demons. Really? And, you see, I'd always thought they were animals. Only more hideous and savage. But uh -huh. it turns out they're just ordinary people. Yep. Unlucky folk infected by something or other that transformed them into monsters. There's no known cure as of yet. So death is the only mercy. Mm -hmm. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Accordo. We've got a lot of survivors pouring in from Accordo, too. What with all the demon attacks there as of late? Mm -hmm. Not like it's much better here. Lestalem's practically overflowing with refugees from insomnia. The Empire's recovery assistance fell by the wayside, and demons overran the city. Thankfully, Iris and the Marshal managed to evacuate the civilians. Now there's no one left, except the demons. I spent my childhood in the Crown City. It's sad knowing it's gone, you know? Not for mm. long. I became the king to reclaim our home, and now I'm back. As promised. All these years and you remembered. You bet. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. So, Jared. Your Majesty? Do you remember my grandfather? How could I not? There's something I wasn't able to tell you back then. Grandpa okay. died because of me. It was my fault. An Imperial officer approached me in town. Asked if I was from the Crown City, and that was just the beginning. What brings you here, young man? You didn't come here by yourself, did you? Oh, your grandfather's a butler at a manor. How very grand. Oh, he rubs shoulders with the royal family. You must be ever so proud. I answered him without thinking. A little after that... You're a kid, how could you? The man showed up at our hotel. Talcott. Think what you will of me. But please know that Grandpa didn't give you away. Listen. Yeah? You're not a kid anymore. You should know by now what happened that day wasn't your fault. None of it. There's a baited trap. How would you have known? You know, it's hard to ask someone about that. Okay, pain, my headset keeps kicking out. It's just and pissing as hard to share off. your own with someone else. I appreciate you opening up to me. And I swear, I'll make things right. But believe me when I say. Nobody blames you. Not me. Not your grandpa. Trust me. You have the king's word. I suppose you're right. Your majesty. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. I'm starting to get fairly annoyed at my headset right now, but, uh, let's see. Safe travels, your majesty. All right. Well, we learned all I really wanted to know other than who the fuck is Gladio married to or marrying? When the fuck did this happen? Fucking answer me. Okay. I'm just going to end the episode here for right now because my headset's intent on pissing me off. And, uh, we've met up with the boys. Reunited again. For one last ride. But, uh, for now, it's time to end the episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. 
Uh, I might make my way over there in time, and if that's at all possible, um, get ready for that. <laughs> if it's not possible to do that without running into story stuff, I'll just cut it and uh, just come back here. So, anyway, this has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and reuniting Noctis with the funky bunch once again of Ignis, Gladio, and Prompto. Finding out a lot of time has passed since I've been in that crystal and shit has hit every fan possible, more or less, for you. <laughs>